Those are scary sounds, guys, and thank you for joining us, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Uh, we, here we have three pieces of footage reportedly from this evening in Yemen. Uh, there are strikes that are, well, either ongoing or some sources say they're over, but there's other things happening right now that we're trying to verify at the same time. As what we had talked about this morning, it looked like the UK was ready to get going and start hitting Yemen directly after uh, the Houthis have been targeting different ships trying to bring supplies into Israel. And uh, apparently what we have is a consortium. There's UK and US. Um, some reports also saying France took part in this. Uh, and also stating that Saudi Arabia and perhaps Qatar were also used uh, to implement these strikes on maybe as many as 10 or more targets. It's still a breaking situation in Yemen. Uh, it, this feels like a major, major escalation. Uh, according to Politico, U.S. Department of Defense officials stated that Washington and London, with support from Australia, the Netherlands, Bahrain, and Canada, have carried out strikes against targets in Yemen. Now, there's reports of a U.S. Navy ship that were hit by Yemen's Houthis in the Red Sea. Um, there are some sources saying that's not accurate. Uh, other sources are stating this is accurate. There's also been unconfirmed reports of two cruise missiles hitting a British destroyer. No confirmation of that yet as well. It's um, kind of a confusing situation at the moment trying to sort out what is really, really going on. This right here is the port city of Hodea. Hodea. Da, Hodeida. And there are also bombings in Taiz and Sana, as well as launches from U.S. and British naval missiles in the Red Sea. Submarines were used as well in these strikes. So here again, another source. The Yemenis and the other Arab news sources are claiming American ship was sunk as a result of a hit by a missile strike. Now, based on one source, it was a lie, and this one says they don't have the tech to pull it off. E yeah, I wouldn't say that because, again, you really are not just facing Yemen. You're facing Russia and China and Iran. So, you know, again, this is where uh, things perhaps get a little bit confusing, and you're going to have some sources not wanting to admit certain things, too. Mm. You know, I, all I can tell you is that when I do try to feel into this and uh, figure out something, I, I get this twisting in my solar plexus and my heart chakra. So that alone is, is not good news. I mean, I, I have a difficult time reaching this information. Normally, it's just blank for me. It's just black. Um, and there's no feeling at all. So I, I just thought this reaction from my body was noteworthy since I, I don't usually feel this. Usually I just <laughs> at least get a blank screen, but that's not the case. I, I have a very um, twisted type of feeling in my gut, in my throat, in my heart. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It, it's just it's really kind of moving quickly right now like really rapidly so we'll have to see what what else comes out and you know we were trying to go live i don't know if we're going to be able to but i think this would be live worthy maybe uh tomorrow we can get on and go live but um because this is something that i think people might um they might do well if like they're at least in a chat together and they can talk together and they can process together. And that's what a big part of this channel is. Yeah. It's about it's about helping others. Our problem is that we are remote ourselves and uh, only recently have upgraded, been able to find another uh, supplier of Internet uh, other than the original one, which was absolutely pathetic. So it's a little bit better, but I was checking our speeds and our speeds are not at the minimum level. So more than likely, we would just be parsing and things would be uh, stalling and getting everybody annoyed. So instead of an <laughs> annoying everybody, I want to do it so we could give you guys um, 
information, you know, again, as I'm looking, I'm seeing more and more sources uh, saying that a ship was hit. And, you know, there, it's interesting because there's reports of, you know, both UK and US ships um, possibly being hit. And at the same time, there's sources saying that's not the case. Um, Pentagon says they bombed 10 targets in Yemen. Uh, UAV production facilities and warehouses were atta uh, attacked. A large batch of surface-to-surface -surface missiles were launched from Yemen towards American battleships. Um, the thing I think that they've been waiting for as far as activating sleeper cells and migrants is some sort of escalation. So I would be very aware of that. Everybody, you know, out there, wherever you're at. <laughs> And so, you know, th this is absolutely a more uh, serious thing than we've seen as far as the risk of things spiraling out of control. Yemen has been, and we've talked about this for years, ever since the channel started, they've been in war the whole time this evolutionary has been around. So this poor country, and it is a poor country, it's not a wealthy country by any means, has had an ongoing uh, civil war of sorts, basically between uh, the Sunni and the Shia components battling amongst themselves in a proxy war. And the only people that suffer is just people, the average people. And this is what happens in war. So we never want to see war. And yeah, I personally find myself less and less tolerant to uh you know i want to use stronger words because <laughs> i'm getting really really angered over the ignorance of humanity that allows this to continually happen and you allow themselves to be divided by religion and politics and and meaningless boundaries that that change constantly 377,000 people have died in Yemen by uh, the war. And when you look at it, the UK is the world's second largest exporter of weapons to Saudi Arabia, who have been conducting a 10-year war in Yemen. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And it's profits. You know, there, there's just, there's people that understand totally. And this is what's so sickening, is the politicians understand that war is profitable. And they don't care that people are suffering. They don't have hearts. You know? And this really goes for, unfortunately, a large percentage of the politicians out there. Not all of them, but the ones in the most important positions. And, you know, the ones that are in positions that you could make some sort of change. But that's the reason why they're in those positions is because, you know, they would prefer to have their own profits go up as opposed to help people uh, alleviate suffering. So again, as I'm looking, it, it does seem very likely that a uh, ship really was hit. Uh, again, you know, this is one of the things that you'll see in war. You'll always see damage downplayed from the side that was uh, taking the damage. And then the damage that they do is played up. This is just part of how, you know, they again spin war. As this post says, it has started, folks. Folks, Yes, absolutely. U.S. bases under attack in Iraq by Iraqi resistance forces. There are still U.S. forces in Iraq. There's still U.S. forces in Syria. They're going to be overrun. That's just a matter of time. And, you know, I said that months and months ago. When this really hits off, they're going to be absolutely overrun. And unfortunately, I, I really feel everything is, is proceeding according to the timeline that we unfortunately have been kind of expecting. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, we're not awakening enough people quick enough to what's going on. Of course, you still have the same power structure in place there. And, you know, this power structure is being exposed big time. And this is how they will get us distracted by basically, you know, having all of us being concerned with dodging bullets and just trying to stay alive. This feels very significant as well. The state of Texas has seized all city property along the riverfront at the border in Eagle Pass. 
uh, area under the governor's emergency powers, including federal processing locations and equipment. According to multiple sources, all access to property is limited to state authority only. Border Patrol will be permitted to enter the property to remove their equipment and supplies. Agents will not have access to the area unless there's a medical emergency. I'm told the state plans to start arresting all who cross for criminal trespass. This is not under the new illegal entry law, um, hashtag SB4. They've been arresting uh, for criminal trespass for months. So... Texas is holding the line at our southern border with miles of additional razor wire and anti-climb barriers to deter and repel the record high levels of illegal immigration invited by Biden's reckless open border policies. Instead of enforcing federal immigration laws, the Biden administration allows unfettered access for Mexican cartels to smuggle people into the country. Texas will continue to deploy Texas National Guard soldiers, DPS troopers, and more barriers, utilizing every tool and strategy to respond to President Biden's ongoing border crisis. Uh, It does absolutely feel significant um, because, again, they are also very intent on starting a civil conflict. Uh, Yeah, who said this? Well, I mean, somebody with some common sense. Yeah, yeah. This is where the world is. We're, we've we've woken up to a point. I think even you know in the mainstream, people have woken up to a point. So this is the card they play, and and they will again. Uh, they're able to start WW three, and they are intent on starting it because again they have to take the eyes off of them. Mm-hmm. They they need it. They definitely need the eyes taken off them. But that doesn't mean you know we can't keep an eye on a few different things at once because that's what we do. We're we're really we're amazing beings we can multitask you know we can create we're co-creators so there's no reason why we can't just kind of pay attention to what needs to be looked at in in the moment and split our attention but i i would urge you to be a bit mindful about your health because you know going down these dark paths for too long of a time can it'll wear you down it'll wear you down i mean just sitting here doing the videos you know we notice (laughs) when it comes to the news we get tired really fast and if we're doing something more uplifting you know and happy well we don't get tired we can sit here and talk for an hour but i do believe there's frequencies coming through the news on x and other Uh, other outlets you know all of them cnn fox msnbc all of them have these frequencies going through them and mike and i get quite tired and i know a lot of people literally like fall asleep and and that's so literal when it comes to what exactly are they doing well they're putting you in a state of mind it's like a hypnosis and it just comes through the through the sound waves through through the light through these boxes you know so i mean the one good thing we have to look forward to is a i you know i would hope that neighbors families pull together people become a little bit uh, tighter with one another people start helping one another like face to face you know and we move a little bit away from the from the tablets and away from the cell phones away from the devices and closer to one another yeah so as you see here putin warns the west against foolishness in yemen so you know because again the sides are being clearly clearly drawn and it's just a matter of time Uh, The guides back in December of the previous year, so it was December of 2022, they gave uh, Cindy a vision, and that vision showed her what looked to be, and again, these things are open to interpretation, she thought it looked a lot like uh, Mount Shasta, a place that we have been, it, I guess, felt like the Pacific Northwest, and she saw war and conflict, and she saw what she took to be Chinese and Russian troops. And so putting all those together, um, they, they had told us uh, 1.5 years. And we've taken that to be a possible timeline that you would actually see war here on, on U.S. soil uh, December. This was again given to us December 2022. So 1.5 years would bring us to May, June of 2024. 
And that does feel uh, like the way things are going, a possible timeline. Of course, we don't want that to happen. And we've done many, many videos on, on the amount of people that have had these visions of war here in the U.S. from George Washington's vision uh, of an attack on the U.S. And, and that's an interesting one that I've done half a dozen videos on. Uh, other visions as well, in, including my own that, that I've seen going back to my last year of high school. I've always seen this, and, and on a regular basis, I would get a little bit more details. And um, in February of 2020, uh, 2019, uh, I saw a, a quake uh, in Seattle that was being reported, and it was a vision. Uh, and I remember it, even the, the number, 8.3. Um, and so, you know, we're coming up now on five full years from, from when I got that. And then April of the same year, 2019, um, I had a vision seeing San Andreas go, and it was chaos in L.A., I just feel like 2024 is is the year that we're going to face challenges that we, um, you know, haven't had on our own turf. And again, put out your protective bubble because you really can uh, protect yourself by your own uh, intent and frequency. There's always cases of natural disasters hitting and one little house stands. <laughs> and it's because people can get help from the higher dimensions you know there really are angels there really are beings that are out there uh, to help us we just have to invite them into our lives and put out our positive intent not be caught up in the hatred as the world will be spiraling unfortunately much of it into uh, an angry malaise mm -hmm. so i mean if we if we sound concerned it's it's because we are you know we're, we're seeing things here that note that there, this could be significant it, it could be you know a really rather large escalation and so much of this channel has been focused on the spiritual aspect of things and the reason that is is because there are so many possibilities out there of certain things going wrong i mean you your head will spin if you try to be ready for every single one it's so difficult but if you have a spiritual practice and you have your your prayers that you do, your mantras that you do, your meditations that you do, you know, when I do it, I can tell you things in my life go better. If there is something that I am in need of and there is a difference between need and want, if I need something and I ask something and I go through my traditional route of the way I ask for assistance, you know, I, I, I can look back and I can't see a single time where I didn't get it. And I've had some really miraculous things happen. Mike and I have had some just amazing things happen because we turned toward our spiritual practice. And this is a time where if you've been thinking about it, you, you know, you just haven't, um, you just haven't actually put it to work. Now's the time, I think, is to start looking at that spiritual practice because no matter what happens, you have that to turn to. And if you have that to turn to, things are going to go easier for you. Absolutely. So you see a statement here from a Democratic member of U.S. House of Representatives, Valerie Howell. The airstrikes on Yemen were not authorized by Congress. Constitution is clear. Congress is the only authority that allows military intervention in the foreign conflicts. Every president must first come to Congress and request military authorization. But... It just doesn't happen. I mean, they, they do this time and time again. And, you know, again, it, it's just a sign of a system that really is, is not about the people, for the people, by the people. And there are, I, I'd like to see a, a government on the planet that has not committed crimes against humanity because I don't think you'll find one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, even the numerology is a little bit curious today, 111. And if you look back on numerology and interesting dates, well, big things usually happen on very curious numerologi numerological 
uh, dates and I, I do think there is a significance to them and they should be paid attention to to a certain degree you know I don't think you should pour all of your understanding and all of your trust in it you should never put all your eggs in one basket but numbers do matter they a lot of times you know you look to them for guidance that's okay a lot of people look into angel numbers that's okay you know whatever works for you but i just noted that today and so did mike and so did some other people that they thought it was just a curious series of numbers today yep so uh, i know the news is enough to make you just want to cover your head by with that blanket and go back to sleep well put out your positive intents and again get yourself as ready as you can be mind body spirit yeah double check all your supplies and make sure you're ready for anything in these times and thank you for being part of this family it is a blessing to be with you guys source blessing namaste namaste